Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and now I am going to show you how to overload with friend functions. Okay? Now I am going to discuss using friend functions, using friend in operator overloading. Okay? In operator overloading concept also we can use the friend keyword. Okay? Now first of all what is called friend? Already I have given the friend function, friend class. But once again, I am going to remember actually to access the data members of a class in C++, we are having certain rules and regulations. Okay? That is what to access the private data of a class, we should have to declare member function of same class and it is only able to access this private data because of it provides the concept of data hiding. Okay. Now, the point is when several classes are there and I want to access all the classes data, then I have to declare several member functions because of outers are not allowed. That is why each class should have to contain at least one member function. When several classes are there, what happens? We have to define several member functions. Due to this, our program is getting lengthy. That is why to avoid this problem, to access the data members through a non-member function. Okay? Here to access the data members of classes through, through the non-member functions, we should have to introduce that friend fu function. Okay? That is why friend function is what? It is not a member of that class or any class, but it is able to access the private data of those classes where it is introduced. That is why here the point is okay, when a friend function is declared as a friend to several classes, what happens? It is able to access all the class members. Na? Now, instead of declaring or defining several functions, how many functions are enough means? Only one function. Now, the same concept also used for operator overloading. That is why we can overload the operators by using friend keyword also. But here some important point is friend function is not a member of friend function is not a member of that class. That is why we cannot we can't call that using object dot. Okay? We know that member functions are called with object dot function, okay? but friend function is what? It is only friend. It is not the member. No? That is why we cannot call that one using the object dot. Next, here friend function ge definition generally outside, declaration is inside. But in operator overloading, there is no problem at all. We can define, we can define a friend definition inside or outside the class also. And here one more point is there. What is that? Generally, friend functions are having objects as arguments. Why? Because friends are not the members. That is why they are directly not able to access the members, na? data members. That is why what? We are sending the objects as arguments. Now, using the object name dot member, we can access. That is why here the point is friend is having objects as arguments. And in operator overloading, whenever you are overloading, an operator, suppose unary operator, unary. Unary means how many arguments are required? One. That is why in operator overloading, whenever you are using friend, then one explicit argument should be provided. And when it is binary operator, two explicit arguments should be provided, means two objects. Generally, they are having objects now. That is why when working with unary operator, one object is one of but when working with two objects, two explicit arguments should be provided. It is the rule for friend function. It is the rule for friend. Okay, that means, how to use the friend in operator overloading. Now, I will show you how to overload an operator by using of a friend. For example, first I am going to give how to overload greater than operator. Now, we are having a binary operator called greater than you know that. 
generally greater than is used for what purpose relation finding the relation that is why here how to check one class with uh, another class ok I will show you just see this first common header files next I am going to start class and here the point is what I am going to use friend concept in binary operator ok now the concept is what friend in binary operator and actually binary operator requires two objects ok that is why here we have to create two classes means I am going to introduce one friend function for two classes that is why here class test2 now it is forward declaration ok actually here test2 class is declared not defined next watch it here class test1 that means I need two classes because of I want to declare one friend for two classes next ok here INTA for example there is a member called INTA later public area now void get a it is a member function here we are reading the a value enter a value c in a finish now what happens class test 1 test 1 is what class and a is the data member of that class and to read the value for a I have used a member function called get a and here we are going to print the a value ok fine later I want to introduce a friend now that is why friend rule is what friend keyword ok ok in friend function the common syntax is first you should have to declare the friend keyword later a return type here there is no return type that is why I want to use void ok there is no return type that is why I want to use void ok fine later operator keyword it is the common thing in operator overloading compulsorily you have to start with operator keyword next which operator I want to overload greater than operator which operator greater than that is why the operator symbol next here the important point is greater than is a greater than is a binary operator when binary operator is overloaded how many objects are required two that is why here in brackets test 1 comma test 2 semicolon brackets close that is it now the meaning is what greater than is a ok operator means function and which kind of function friend function for which classes both test 1 and test 2 ok now test 1 class completed later I am going to start class test 2 same concept and here intb is there one more member called intb later same reading the members public and here void get b ok void get b later I am going to read the b value c out enter b value c in b ok fine now it is data member b and to read the data for b we are using get b function and it is going to read the value for b later I want to introduce once again the friend that is why friend same concept first uh, return type no return type that is why void and operator keyword next uh, which operator greater than for friend test 1 and uh, test 2 now the meaning is what this operator is friend for both test 1 and test 2 now class close ok that is why here how many classes are there two classes one is test 1 another one test 2 test 1 is having what a and test 2 is having what b now I want to access both a and b generally to access a I have to write one function to access b one more function here how many functions require two that is why to avoid this problem I have introduced one friend function to both classes see that here same function here also same function but in the form of operator that is why what happened instead of two functions only one function next it is what only the friend function declaration now we have to define the friend function now. 
okay. Now I am going to define the friend function here. A friend function definition should not contain friend keyword that is why directly return type okay void return type void and operator next which operator greater than operator next and it is the friend for how many classes two classes when classes are used means objects we should have to that is why test 1 t 1 and test 2 t 2 okay test 1 t 1 comma test 2 t 2 now how many objects that is why I said binary operator is overloaded with the friend we should have to send two explicit arguments it is first explicit it is the second explicit because of they are not the members only the friends next here I am going to write like this okay simple simply t1 dot a greater than okay and now we know that c out c out is there now suppose by using c out also we can print otherwise printf is there anything no problem t1 dot a greater than t2 dot b okay now t1 is having what a because of here two objects are created now one is t1 object and another one is t2 object here a value b value okay suppose a value 10 b value 20 now the meaning is what t1 dot a means 10 10 greater than t2 dot b 20 then question mark okay i am going to write like this c out a is big colon c out b is big that's all now the function closer now what happens suppose a t1 a 10 10 greater than t2 b 20 condition false here i have used a conditional operator when condition false what happens program goes to colon program goes to colon colon is having what b is big that's why your answer is b is big suppose you have entered 100 now 100 greater than 20 yes now first c out is executed answer is a is big and in this example any return value is used no that's why i have started with uh, void that's why here the program started with void okay now test 1 test 2 classes completed and friend function definition also completed now calling for calling you should have to start with main now main function and how many objects are required we are having two classes now that's why two different objects test 1 okay for example t1 test 2 t2 and here watch it these are the objects declared in main and these are the objects declared in operator means function now here the names okay here the names may be same means what it is not mandatory to maintain the same names because of their actual parameters their formal parameters we can use any names no problem at all they should not be matched okay next clr is here okay t1 dot get a what happened get a function of t1 is executed means it is reading a value for a okay fine a value stored later t2 dot get b now what happens get b function is invoked it is reading the b value later we have to find out which one is the big okay which one is the big that is why here how to call t1 greater than t2 that is all t1 greater than t2 for example 5 greater than 7 actually 5 is a what integer 7 is a what integer integer is a predefined data type we know that but here t1 t2 are what user defined that means generally greater than is working on predefined data type but using operator overloading we can work on user defined that is why we need operator overloading now t1 greater than t2 program shifted to greater than now it is going to check and returns the answer that is it now get ch program finish okay and t1 is passed to here and t2 passed to here now what happens t1 value means 100 100 greater than t2 value means 
20 100 greater than 20 condition true the answer a is big that is why in this line we are going to get the answer output in output we are getting the answer a is big that is it ok that is why here it is how to use the greater than operator with the friend ok it is how to overload an operator using a friend it is operator overloading with the friend it is how to overload an operator using friend ok thank you for watching Thank you.